happy with welcome back guys okay another tutorial unlocking the 60 fps fortnite on poco f1 from the beginning from scratch okay now i'm installing pixel experience plus link for the rom i will give in the description below first we need to wipe that one wipe cache system data i don't want my vendor wipe format data yes my ROM are inside the USB OTG the time drive okay install the ROM and the root also we need the root after that we remove the root okay pixel experience plus beryllium add another magis 21.0 all letter this is a long video so you can skip wherever part that are interested to you that's up to you but I will explain detail by detail how I do it manually so sit back and relax and first of all good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are stay safe stay at home if you still on this device Poco F1 there's thumbs up to you it's still an awesome device in 2021 three years already but it's still kicking ass okay now it's rooting the pond with magis 21.0 Okay, reboot. Very easy. Why I love this Poco Pond F1? Because the the development, the custom ROM still exists. Also, thank you to the developer for their job maintaining the custom ROM for Pocopon F1. Some of the developer, I donate a few bucks to them for their good works. Okay, let me do the setting first and after that we'll be back. Pixel Experience Plus This ROM I already modified uh, 
optimize a bit you can download the standard one the stock one more or less the performance but mine a bit a bit optimized for myself so let's begin where's my root where's the magic okay to edit the prop, you need a third party file explorer I'm using the mix explorer you can search the webs for the mix explorer it's free Where's my magic? Maybe I have to reinstall it. Root. No, nope. no root. Okay, restart. Reinstall the magic. Where's the brightness? No brightness. SPFTG 21.0. So, install the ROM first, boot, and boot back to recovery, and reinstall uh, the medis after that. If you install after the ROM, see what happened. After this, we edit the build prop to unlock the six sixty FPS. Down. Come on, yes, we got magic. After we edit the B prop, we remove the magic. We don't want the epic server detect our magic. For the module, you can search over here there is a lot of module online see you can search what module you want type in okay i am not talking about magis okay install your mix explorer now we have root go to root come on Press the permission. No setting. Allow it. We need root, root, root. Go to root folder. Give permission. Okay. Listen carefully. Okay. Once you are in the root folder, go to system and the build prop. Tap on it. Remember, tech editor. 
Okay, over here we we have to add two line. Okay, before that I forgot have to disable the keyboard the tag correction keyboard tag correction auto correction disable auto capitalization disable this one very disturbing okay we are back here add two line anyway but I prefer over here after the the last info okay press enter so you, you will get another blank line there type in r o dot product dot model r o dot product dot model equal sign and then capital letter H capital letter D and then the number one nine two five okay add another line at the bottom this is a second line R O dot product P R O D U C T all small letter dot Ma new factor equal sign capital letter O small letter N E capital letter P L U S Come on, camera focus, focus. Okay, ready, focus. There. Product model SD1925, product manufacturer 1 plus. Add these two line manufacturer. Okay, after that, save. Done. After we reboot, then it will take effect and before that let's check with IDA 64 64 remember the Fortnite game the size of the file are 8 GB at the moment before we restart Poco Pon F1 and show me after this we will start it it will change to one plus 70 pro we start the phone after we edit the build prop after this we we'll remove the magis we don't need it we need it only for editing the build prop okay reboot already IDA 64 system already chain 1 plus 7 pro HD 1925 the manufacturer 1 plus come on camera focus focus Manufacturer one plus device model one plus seventy pro. Okay, now remove images. Uninstall images. Complete uninstall. That's it. Done. After this, it will reboot. We download the 
fortnight i'm sorry if the video are too long i will explain uh, more detail what to do you can skip to the last part it's up to you which part you want you can skip the video so for those who want to learn follow carefully already no more root so now we have to delete the you can choose any file explorer delete the twrp inside the internal storage see there is the twrp there highlight delete delete okay no more okay go to your google chrome search for fortnite fortnite epic game www.epicgame.com first install the launcher the epic launcher go to download here there is a launcher here get the epic launcher give permission download okay it's already open setting allow from this source to give permission to the chrome browser to install the app done okay that's it why why are you over there okay launch the epic game apps inside the app you download the uh, fortnite this is the epic app from this uh, there is two game over here two why offline mode i'm online now okay one is fortnite click on the fortnite install install setting again give permission install done that's it we got the Fortnite game launcher. Okay, we can launch the game. Continue. Let's get it. Find my account. Go 
log in into your account Sometimes the Fortnite server really slow. Sometimes it's faster. See a bit of interruption there. Total size of the game are 8 GB. For the first 20% it faster up to 60 then it's slower again a lot of file okay while waiting let's talk about the controller day about the cable extension one I already make another one same thing also this is the OTG adapter from type C to USB it's another sample I got another sample this one OTG and at the other end you cut it so you expose the pin the four pin for the USB at the other end the normal USB you can, you can use any cable cut at the other end and the pin out from the right VCC plus the 5 volt one the second pin, the D minus, data minus, the third pin, the green color, data plus, and the fourth one are ground, black color, red, white, green, and black. 5 volt, minus data, plus data, and the last one, ground. That's it. Connect over here, like that. At the other end, you can use ordinary cable like this why we need an OTG adapter you if you can hack the cable like uh, this cable you open it you short the pin number four there is five pin inside pin number four to ground to activate the OTG so better option at the other end the normal USB and after that you can use the OTG adapter Type-C this one mic uh, USB to Type-C when you connect to the phone it will trigger the OTG why? the OTG the phone will give the voltage output voltage to the controller if you don't use OTG like the at the end of the cable you use a type C or micro USB it will not trigger the OTG so no voltage coming out from the cable so the controller will not receive any power supply we need the power supply to supply the voltage to the 
controller. That's why we need an OTG adapter like that. If you connect to the phone, the light over here will light up. See, it thinking there because we already trigger the OTG on the phone and it will send a voltage out to power the anything that connect to that power on. same as my L cable I got a lot of this uh, adapter, OTG adapter. Where is it? This is a Type C to micro USB. This one Type C USB to Type C. You can connect it like that. This one, Type C to audio jack. Same as this, Type C to audio jack. For the phone, they don't have the audio jack, the 3.5 mm jack. This one is a USB to micro. This one for the older phone, still using the micro USB, the other end to your controller and to the phone or to the tablet. This is the sample Type C to USB. Type C to USB because the other end are USB Type C to same as this. Type C female and then USB. You cut at the end over here. To expose the pin inside and solder the wire that's very simple connector this is my soldering iron this is a digital one digital control temperature changeable tip this is my old one, analog, can I adjust the temperature also, you can change the tip, that depend on your work, what tip you want to use. Got a lot of tip, maybe 20 type of tip. Shopper, this one does like a knife, you can cut through the printed circuit board easily. And the multimeter that I use, Unity. Another model of the Unity. This one more advanced. This one got the capacitor and the inductor. You can test inductor, the capacitor. This one Mark Henry is for inductor. This one for capacitor, micro farad. 
this one for resistance for diode another micro henry for inductor this one got frequency temperature ready finished unlock and voltage the ampere DC and AC voltage automatically this model very good and very cheap also unity okay 30 minutes already the pond getting hot downloading 36 only. 36 by the way I'm using a casing This ROM, no need to modify anything. Just edit the build prop. Don't remove the thermal file. That's important. Use the stock thermal file. Season 5, Chapter 2. Fortnite. Did we unlock the 60 APS? Let's see. Connecting, 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 and connecting. No one is escaping the loop. Not a mud. new character hey connection fail okay let's see the setting we got 60 60 high better use medium maybe medium at 60 medium this one reduce 37% show LPS apply medium 60 37% 3D resolution Camera, come on, fuckers, let's play. 33 minutes already, the video. Install the ROM, install root, install Mix Explorer, edit the build prop. The keyword to edit the build prop I will give in the description. RO dot product dot model equal HD1925 and then add another line RO dot product dot manufacturer one plus and save the build prop after that you remove the root delete the TWRP folder in your internal storage then you can play it again Can we enter the game? Maman of truth. 
I'll get reboot from the game server. See, you are entering the game with no problem. 60 FPS. Help me, just kill me, man. Then let me suffer. Kill one and then get killed. Six years. If you want to get the 90 FPS option, you can use the custom kernel that support overclocking the refresh rate of the display. The maximum they can get is 71 Hz. So your maximum FPS is around 71 FPS. If you want to try the 90 FPS, there is an option there 90 FPS, but have to use the custom kernel. That's up to you. The stock kernel already good. Why? Battery life. That's most important. And another another thing, the temperature of the device you don't want it to overheat 36 degree only 39 at the back 38 39 at the front 36 35 not even warm with the casing so that's it how to unlock the 60 APS Fortnite Season 5 Chapter 2 Once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.